Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, contract laborers of Raukela Steel Plant awarded under Instant Recognition Scheme. Workshop on HR Initiative, Arohan, The Ascent, organized. And Project Kiran, a counselling session of RSP, continues its endeavour to transform lives. And now the news in detail. Eight contract labourers of Messrs Steel Construction working in hot strip mill area of Raukela Steel Plant RSP were presented with the Instant Recognition Award for a commendable job carried out by them. Mr. P. Murli, GMHSM, awarded them in a function organized at the Hot Strip Mill Conference Hall on 9th October. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Murli congratulated the contract laborer and the contractor for their exemplary work and exhorted them to carry on working with the same spirit. It is worth mentioning here that in the finishing mill 3 of hot strip mill, power was getting hit in the entry side of grinding wall leading to cobble generation. This called for the required replacement. The awarded laborers carried out the safe replacement of entry table capsule assembly in one and a half shifts, which normally takes three shifts. The function was attended by Mr. T. G. Kanekar, DGM Personnel, CLC and Projects, Mr. Deepak Yadav, DGM HSM Operation, Mr. R. K. Mudali, DGM Electrical, Mr. R. N. Rajendran, DGM Mechanical and other senior officers of the department. The program was coordinated by Mr. P. S. Rajkumar, DGM Mechanical. It is worth mentioning here that the Instant Recognition Scheme was launched in November 2014 and this was the 34th award function. So far, 219 contract laborers have been awarded in various departments of RSP under this scheme. A two-day workshop of the HR initiative Arohan, the Ascent, was held at HRDC on 12th and 13th October. In all, 15 executives in the level E3 to E7 attended the workshop. The topics covered during these two days were business scenario and dynamics of steel industry and future challenges, stakeholder management, building professional relationship with vendors, emotional intelligence, positive attitude and self-motivation, culture of pride, passion and appreciation, optimum utilization of resources and materials, innovation and creativity, effective decision making at work and optimum utilization of human resources. The sessions were conducted by Mr. A. Das Gupta, DGM R and C L, Dr. P. K. Sahu, DGM Personnel, Mr. B. S. Kartha, DGM SMS2, Mr. G. S. Das, DGM FNA, Mr. G. S. Goswami, AGM MM, Mr. P. Vijayan, AGM FNA, and Ms. Shikha Jain, Manager MM. The program was coordinated by Mr. R. A. Khan, Manager HRD, with the support of Ms. R. L. Acharya, Senior Instructor HRD, and was supervised by Mr. Shivarajan, DGM HRD. It is worth mentioning here that the initiative has been launched in April 2018 with an aim to strengthen the managerial competence of the participants, enable them to proactively take up challenging roles and develop better strategic thinking in line with the organizational goals. The program is being organized twice a month. Project Kiran, a counseling session of Raukela Steel Plant to reduce unauthorized absenteeism by improving social and behavioral aspects was held at Institute of Peripheral Development on 10th October. In all, seven employees along with their spouses and family members participated in the program. 
The sessions were conducted by Mr. Somdatta Tripathi, Assistant Manager Personnel and Ms. Jyoti Oriya, Deputy Manager Personnel. It is worth mentioning here that Project Kiran, a unique HR intervention of Raukela Steel Plant, was started in the year 2007. It is a family counselling program where needy employees who fall into the trap of absenteeism, alcoholism, debt, illness, etc. are being reformed with the help of their family members. This family counselling program is being conducted every Wednesday at the IPD Sector 20 where expert counsellors from personal department and doctors from IGH psychiatric department help employees in the process of the reform. The program commences with a briefing session in which the employees are told about the advantages of a disciplined and addiction free life. Few reformed employees also motivate the participants through experience sharing. Thereafter, individual employees along with their family members are counselled in closed door sessions. Necessary follow up counselling is also done as per requirement. Wherever necessary, employees are being facilitated for proper medical treatment at IGH. And that's all for now. Namaskar.